Hey friends, it's Leslie. Welcome back to Holistic Health at Home. It is day 12 of this juice feast. Today, since I'm home from work, I wanted to dig in a little bit deeper with my juices. I started the day off with an orange, blood orange juice, and that was really spectacular. Toward the afternoon, I stepped it up with our grape lymph mover, a bunch of red grapes, half a pint of blueberries, and a whole container of strawberries. That juice is one of my new favorites, but it is incredibly astringent. I can absolutely feel uh, mucus moving. I can feel my lymph moving. Uh, I start to sneeze fairly shortly after I drink that, and I can immediately tell that my body is moving things around and my body is trying to purge that junk out. The first half of today, I had so much energy. I was feeling really great, even dancing a little bit while I was prepping my juices. But toward the evening, I was really starting to feel a bit low and I ended up taking a nap on the couch for a solid hour and uh, definitely felt recharged after that. Today, I wanted to talk to you about drinking water. Whether you're on a protocol or not, I wanted to take some time to talk about this universal solvent. Now we've all been taught that water is hydrating, but let's really break down water and understand what it is. When we look at water, we understand that its uh, chemical structure is H2O, two atoms of hydrogen and one atom of oxygen. Now when we look at the pH scale, pH simply means potential of hydrogen and how much hydrogen something has depends on how acidic it's going to be. So if water has two atoms of hydrogen and only one of oxygen, that would make water a minor acid. Water is actually the universal solvent. It helps to dissolve things. A lot of people question how much water we should be drinking, and there are a lot of opinions out there. But simply put, water is not a hydrating experience. When the body becomes too acidic, it uses three things to help counter or buffer its mucous membranes from those acids. It uses water, cholesterol, and calcium. Now, when we become too acidic and we drink a lot of water, our bodies can hold on to that water and we can see edema or swelling. This is because the body is actually holding on to that water to buffer the acids that it's holding on to and can't let go of. When our lymphatic waste builds up, remember that that waste is holding on to acidic byproducts from metabolism, it's holding on to toxins, it's holding on to drug deposits, and a lot of this chemistry is highly acidic. There are only two sides of chemistry. We have acids and we have base or alkaline chemistry. The body wants to maintain a level of alkalinity. Disease cannot flourish in an alkaline environment. However, when our bodies become acidic, our fluids dehydrate, they stop moving as well, we start to see clots and stone formation, and we see degradation on a cellular level. The body will hold on to water, it will produce more cholesterol, and it will actually leach calcium from its own tissues to buffer that acidity. So that leads us to our question of, well, how much water should we be drinking? Drink water when you are thirsty. If you are truly eating a proper biological diet, then you are actually eating your water. You are getting a high water content from the raw fruits and vegetables that you are eating. As long as your diet consists of at least 80% raw fruits and vegetables, then the water that you drink is simply supplementing what you are getting from your foods. If you're eating the standard American diet or even a plant-based diet high in your faux meats and cheeses and whatnot, your body is going to call for a lot more water because it's thirsty, because it is becoming dehydrated from these acidic foods. By no means am I saying not to drink water. Our bodies absolutely need water. But where we should be sourcing our water from is really from our foods. So I encourage you to increase your intake of raw fruits and vegetables. You will eat your water and you will naturally feel much more hydrated than you do simply drinking a lot of water. What we're really after is hydrating our interstitial fluid. Now that simply means that that is the fluid in between all of the cells in our bodies. Now remember that we have two major fluids in the body, blood and lymph. Blood is the body's kitchen. It's going to bring every cell its food. And lymph is going to clean all of those cells and take away their waste. 
when we are eating a high raw, high fruit diet, we are changing our internal chemistry and giving our bodies a ton of natural hydration, which means we really only have to supplement with water as needed. Well, that is it for today's video, friends. Thanks again for joining me on day 12 of this Juice Feast. If you have any questions that you would like me to discuss during this month, drop me a comment down below and we'll talk about it. If you're looking for any kind of assistance on your healing journey, send me a message on my website at wholetalks.com. That is H-O-L-T-O-X.com. I'm Leslie, sending you love and health.